The film begins with an army commander briefing fighter pilots on their upcoming mission, which will take them across North Vietnam to bomb the enemy's vital targets. He assures them that the mission is private and that they are not required to inform their family about it. He then instructs them to view a video on how to live in the bush if their plane is shot down. Dieter Dengler, a recent graduate pilot, is sitting next to a friend. They were making fun of the facts in the video. The pilot soon prepares to take off. Dieter takes off and joins the rest of the pilots in the sky as soon as they are given the go-ahead. The four jets were en route to their destination. Each jet maneuvers after a few hours of flight to dump bombs on targets. Dieter follows suit, but his wings are damaged and he loses control of the plane. Then he tells his pals that he is unable to leave the location. His jet crashes, as planned, and Dieter lives. However, the risk does not stop there. He gets up and flees into the forest to hide from the invading army. He drops his radio and weapon and wanders into the woods with caution. He searches for something to help him while strolling through the woods. He comes across a potato and stores it for later. He sleeps there, and when he awakens, he looks around to see if anyone is nearby. Helicopter flying through the woods, but they can't spot him unless there's a smoke signal. A youngster and his mother passed in front of him as soon as he stepped out, but he managed to dodge them. After a short while, he continues going till he reaches a large rock, climbs it, and inspects his surroundings. He scans the sky for a plane looking for him. Unfortunately, he doesn't come across any American or Allied aircraft, so he keeps flying, trying to escape away from the local militia. He eventually came across a cave with water. He goes down to get some water, but is astonished to see militiamen surrounding him. Dieter is taken prisoner after one of the men tugs his hair and holds a revolver at him. When he awakens, he discovers a boy with a stick on his head, while the militia monitors him. After a few moments, the militiamen began to flee, crossing a suspension bridge, and returning to the jungle. A helicopter passes overhead as they rest after hours of movement. They were attempting to shoot the chopper when they realized the plane had noticed them. They then blame Dieter for maybe contacting someone. He denies this and claims that the helicopter missed them due to the dense foliage, but the Vietnamese do not believe him and fire a bullet near his ear. They travel again, and after a while they come to a house that appears to be regular, but it turns out to be the enemy's military headquarters. A high-ranking officer is speaking with Dieter inside the headquarters. After he refused to sign a document presented by the officer, the men began dragging Dieter with a buffalo. He loses consciousness due to extreme exhaustion. When he wakes up, he discovers that he is hanging upside down and that militia have tied an insect nest to his face. Then they spun him, making him dizzy and unable to resist. Dieter was then placed in a water well. Later, he is placed in a hut and hears the voices of his fellow inmates. Later, he meets the other prisoners and they devise a plan to escape. Dieter takes the initiative the following day. However, he realizes that some of the inmates have been here for years and are convinced they will not survive. However, the American pilot has plans for obtaining items that can be used to escape. He approaches one of the enemy guards and requests toothpaste, and while he was speaking with the guard, he stole a nail from the pole. He untied the prisoners' handcuffs at night. They continue to plot their escape the next morning. However, for some prisoners, remaining in prison was preferable to fleeing the dense forest. The guards arrive at the huts unexpectedly to search. They attempted to determine whether the prisoners were concealing anything. One of the guards discovers a glass shard that resembles a lens in one of their pockets. Dieter tries to explain it for a friend. He informs them that it is used to shave. They'll be able to fool the guard and get away with it. Later, he gathered rice grains and hid them in his water bowl. Months later, the inmates commemorated his birthday. Despite their difficult circumstances, he divides the rice among them. Then he carefully plans his escape from the prison camp. While plotting their escape, he grabs a small mirror and checks to see if anyone is watching them. And when he realizes no one is looking, he becomes eager to flee. When the guards arrive, they handcuff themselves to avoid the guards becoming suspicious of them. The prisoners were given their share of food the next day, and the meal was barely enough for them, so they decided to save some for later. The prisoners worked together that night to dig a hole at the bottom of the hut. The plan was for them to escape unnoticed by the guards, which they should be able to do in the dark. Dieter emerges from beneath the hut and begins digging a hole in a wooden wall. He goes out the next morning to check on what he did the night before with a friend named Duane. When they see a guard with a gun, he warns them to stay away from the walls. The plan was in the works, 
and all that remained was to determine the day of implementation. However, as might be expected, some of the prisoners were content to remain in prison, to the point where one of them threatened to scream and inform the guards during their escape. Nonetheless, Dieter persists in his escape plan and refuses to give up. He managed to persuade his colleagues to flee. When the prisoners are served food, they are given a plate of worms. Except for Dieter's, which he considered a good source of protein, the prisoners refused to eat it. Later that night, they couldn't sleep because they were planning their strategy for the next day when the guards burst into the hut around noon. While flying in the woods in the helicopter, the guards begin beating them and shooting the prisoners. Because of what occurred, escaping became more logical than remaining in prison. They decided to make their escape the next day while talking. One of the guards hears their conversation and walks into the hut. Later, Dieter uses the rice he was collecting to feed his teammates in order for them to stay strong during their escape. They began digging, and when they emerged undetected, Dieter returned to the hut to obtain some weapons. And after obtaining the weapons, he went towards the enemies and shot them while they were eating. He took the food with him after killing them all, and then left the camp. They arrived at a large cave. He told them that the enemy knows the forest better than they do, and that they should split up to increase their chances of survival. Dieter and Duane are both heading in the same direction. Others are moving in different directions. They came across a river after several days of walking, and the water was drawing them in. But Dieter was able to hang on to something. They were able to save themselves. Dieter heard a voice and discovered that he was a hunter from the other side, so he avoided him. He found a shoe and gave it to Duane after a while of walking. He then tossed the guns into the river. They find a cabin and decide to take a break after concluding that there are no more enemies to pursue. After a few moments, they could hear planes. He yelled for help, but no one could hear him. He burns the hut to attract the plane's attention, but is shot at. They then continue walking. They come across a boy and request water from him, but the boy flees to warn his tribe. They try to attack them, and Duane is hit and dies as a result. While Dieter manages to flee, the tribe members begin pursuing him. Fortunately, he was able to flee. He couldn't sleep that night because he was so upset about what had happened to his friend. The next day, he saw a group of armed men from the enemy forces, and when they left, he went to their camp to get some leftovers. He saw a snake the next day and caught it. Then, try to eat the snake. Then he noticed the helicopter nearby and tried to attract the pilot's attention by waving a banana leaf. He initially assumed that the helicopter crew had not noticed him. They did, however, notice his presence and return to him. He was able to climb into the helicopter after they lowered the rope to him. The militias then arrive and fire on the helicopter, but the pilot escapes. They inquired about his name, and when they discovered who he was, they rejoiced because they had located the missing pilot, and despite his months in prison, he was still alive. He was then taken to the hospital. Dieter recovers after that, and the doctors celebrate his birthday. Then they took him on a tour, and he was surprised at how friendly everyone was. He eventually retired and became a civilian pilot. The film ends here. Thank you for taking the time to watch. That's it for today's recap of Rescue Dawn on Benjamin Recaps. I hope you enjoyed reliving Dieter's incredible story of survival and escape during the Vietnam War. If you haven't seen the film, I highly recommend checking it out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more movie recaps. Until next time, this is Benjamin signing off.